Hello guys, Cludier Hacker here, and today I'm going to be talking about an internet radio service, and I think many of you who own an iPhone know about it. It's called Pandora, and what Pandora is is very interesting. It takes the artists that you listen to and mathematically link them to other artists that they believe you will like, and therefore basically stream the content to you. And to be honest, I don't have an iPhone. I kind of don't plan on getting one, to be honest. I actually might look around at a droid for my next phone, because mainly I can do everything that I want to do on a droid that I can do on an iPhone. In fact, in some cases, I can do more stuff on a droid and not have to jailbreak the device like I will with, you know, you know an iPhone. But anyways, b beside the point on that, Pandora. Well, it is an internet service that streams to you free, to an extent your music that you prefer to, and I'm going to show you it right here. Hopefully if... Oops. I'm at their display here. There we go. So, this is Pandora. However, this is Pandora 1. This is a premium service brought to you by Pre eh, Pandora, and it's interesting. Pandora alone only lets you listen to a certain amount of music to keep up with the bandwidth. So, you're limited to how basically how much bandwidth you're using. If, however, you have a Pandora account and you want to upgrade, you can do this very simply and listen to unlimited viewing of music. You can skip only six times per hour on each station, which is kind of a lock for even free users as well as people who pay. So you are locked into that, but there are some benefits to being a Pandora 1 membership. A, the benefit I think is most important, you're supporting the community of Pandora. I mean, they're working to get you this music. I think they should get paid a little bit. And B, it's not really too much money for the year. I think it's like $30 a year. You can definitely think it's worth it for the amount of music you're listening to for free. And it's also turned me around to new artists, such as I've never heard of the Hellcasters before. Maybe you guys haven't either. But because I listened to Pink Floyd, it showed me one of the Hellcasters songs. I'm like, oh, cool, that's a cool artist to listen to. Or Dion Parkins, I believe it's called, Project, which is awesome, too, as well. So that's that turned me into uh, listening to some stuff. Mark Knopfler. I've already listened to Dire Straits, but because I made a... Um, station based on uh, Dire Straits. They showed me some Mark Knopfler stuff, so I realized his solo work is really, really good. So he's a very good guitarist. And that's what I like about this, but there are other benefits, such as the ability to have a higher streaming station. In other words, you can have it's better sound quality. Not that many people are going to no notice a difference. I really don't care. It just happens to be one of the extra features. Another thing that's nice is actually an application they built called the Pandora application. And basically, I have this open in my web here. However, shrink this down. This works for Mac and Windows. It is an application. Basically, it's based on Adobe Air. And you get this free of charge as long as you have the account. So in reality, it's not really free. The app itself is pretty good. I don't know why it's taking forever to load, but considering I'm running Windows XP as well as the screen recording program, it actually might make it slower. So that is probably why. The limited processor on here. Only Duo Core 2.53 gigahertz, so I can't do too much at once. Now, as you can see, it's called Pandora One. It'll, it's not account. Basically, you can have it on your computer. I do apologize, I am a tiny bit tired. Hopefully it'll load here. Anyways, moving on here, if it's not going to load. So, another thing that's nice about Pandora 1 is the fact that you can have backgrounds like this other than your standard background now it's loading up and basically 
I can change the background very simply by going into my Pandora 1, choosing custom skins. And I don't want to play copyright music, even though Pink Floyd doesn't really remove any of their stuff from YouTube. I want, want to add. So, I can customize this with the Pandora 1 button, and basically choose, for example, if I want the birds, which is already open, or the owl. I haven't checked out that one. That might be a new one. It'll load up. It takes a second to load. And you got little skins on here. You can choose the auto audio quality. I have it on high. Like I said, it might not make a difference for the average Joe who's listening to music. And that's about it. But to be honest, you're supporting a good community, and you're you're basically listening to your music unlimited. Uh, up to six hours. So if you're listening to this overnight, or listening to something in my case that helps you fall asleep, such as I have a bunch of stations here, the Nature Sounds Radio, then you can leave it on for six hours and it'll continue non-stop playing it. And with the limited free account, you get probably like one or two hours before it just times you. So it says, are you using up bandwidth? So all in all, I would say this is definitely worth it, considering they're doing something good. They're, this took a lot of effort to make this program, and I definitely give them credit for doing it. So whether you decide to stick with the free account or purchase it, you have benefits either way. And that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I went over why you should basically spend the money, it's only $30 to listen to an unlimited radio station with great quality. And you also have the desktop app, which as you see is not perfect, however, I am running a bunch of programs here, and on Windows there's definitely not an issue. So that's about it guys, thank you, definitely comment, rate, and subscribe, and if you feel there's a alternative radio that's free and you think it's better, definitely post a reply or video comment if you prefer. And let me just know your thoughts and views, whether you think it's appropriate to purchase Pandora or whether you think you would go with the freeware version. Alright guys, thank you. Definitely comment, rate, and subscribe.